Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create uh, Chrome looking blobs just like this one, which is one that we pre prepared earlier. So, it's going to get started. Go file and new, and then we'll just uh, have select 640 by 480 for this uh, example. Then we hit OK. Now, the first thing we need to do is go to channels and select this little thing, and then new channels, and then we'll just call it alpha 1. Now, the next thing we want to do is go into filter and then render and select clouds and filter, render and select different clouds. Then we want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we want to set it as 20. You can sort of play around with that if you want, but we'll just use 20 for now. Now, the next thing we want to do is go into image at the top, then adjustments and adjust the levels, or you can press Control L like it says. Now, what we want to do here is move this white one first um, up to here somewhere, and then the black one, so then white one, black one, because we want to get like a nice, a few nice circle y type things. Okay, so. That's how it's going to look. So we'll just hit OK. Now we want to create, select all these blobs. So if we hold Control and then click on our Alpha 1 icon, we'll select them like that. Then we want to go into Layers and select New Layer. And then just leave it as Layer 1, hit OK. And we'll just want to select our color picker, this gray one here. It should be 50% gray. And then we want to use our Paint Bucket tool to fill them in so we've got some gray little blobs. Now what we want to do is go back to the channel layer and then select our alpha channel here that we created and then still have it selected here and then go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur and we'll select 16 and then filter, blur, Gaussian blur again and then select 8 then filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and select 4. Then we want to deselect the layer, so you can select deselect uh, or control D. Now, what we want to do now is go back to our layer with the gray blobs and then select. Actually, before that, we've got to do a final Gaussian blur on our channels. Filter, blur, some blur and we'll just do it at number two. It should look something like that. Now we want to go into our layers, select our layer, then go into filter, render, lighting effects. Now this is the tricky part, so what we want to do is select the standard two o'clock spotlight if you have that. If you don't, you just have to sort of pause the video and copy the settings. Let me change both colors to white. Leave all this. Uh, this texture channel, we want to select our alpha 1 channel. And the height, we want to select maximum. Maximum height. Everything else, leave the same. You can fiddle with this to sort of get a different um, chrome looking effect. Um, but yeah, so pause it, copy the settings if you have to, and then we'll hit OK. Now, you see it's a little rough, so we want to add a blur to that. We've got some blur and just two pixels is fine and then we want to reset our colors by pressing the D key so it changes that to black and white and then finally uh, we want to add our chrome filter so if we go into filter sketch and then chrome now once again you can sort of play around with this um, you can, I guess like, I sort of recommend the smoothness on max Detail, you know, you can just, it doesn't really matter, it's like 10, 1, 2, whatever, so going to give you a nice looking effect. Um, I'm going to select 1 here, and so that's giving us that kind of effect. Now, it's basically it. I guess with that, because there's a lot of white, we can sort of go into Edit and then Fade Chrome. Now, we can change this capacity to 40%, um, or you can 50%, depending, but I'll select 40%, and then 
can also select these here and so I, I prefer the hard mix it gives that nice shiny finish um, if you're going after a black onyx or black chrome effect you can select difference here but um, we'll go with the hard mix and I kind of like that so we sort of zoom out that's what it kind of looks like we've got a few little chrome blobs so that's basically it guys um, keep an eye out for more free videos on our website love to help dot com that's l u v number two h e l p dot com and I hope these helped you out and good luck.